In many ways, the story of UC Davis is the story of California. Its foundation is agriculture, and one of the great achievements of the people who work and study here at the UC Davis campus has been the ability to innovate and work harmoniously across so many academic disciplines. In its nearly 100 years of taking on the challenges of the state, the nation, and the world, no campus has come together with as much energy and dedication to public service as UC Davis. In the early 1900s, the students who came to Davis traveled from farms and ranches up and down the state. Today, they come from big cities across the nation and around the world. The first construction on the Davis campus was this building, a dormitory called North Hall, built with a large porch. It sat across the street from an alfalfa field that students harvested. Soon other buildings took their position around a center core. The first building plan for this campus was created in 1922. As campus leaders look ahead to the second 100 years, they have a new mission for change. But the new vision is based on that same sturdy planning foundation, now 85 years old. But that plan created a frame of these formal tree-lined streets and set up building sites to go all around the quad. In the 30s, that was the whole UC Davis campus four or five buildings around the quad and it became a formal park-like space. We're returning to the strength of that plan and using it and extending it all the way from here down to the new south entry by the Mandavi Center and that's going to become our strong academic core framework. Today the quad is the social and cultural heart of the campus. It's surrounded by things that draw students here. It's our downtown. We've got the Union, we've got big classrooms and student activity centers and we've got Shields Library, which is the academic hub of UC Davis. Student body president Kareem Salem remembers when he and his parents came here from San Diego to look over the campus. He was impressed by its beauty. Davis was one of my top choices, um, and I didn't know what to expect when I came up here with my parents on the first time visit, but I was blown away by the campus, actually, you know, just from the greenery, from the trees, and just kind of how the campus was set up. I definitely did the old tour uh, out of Merak Hall, uh, went around campus, and we all loved it. In the early years, the entrance to the library faced the quad. This building was built in 1940, and it makes sense because all the buildings faced the main quad. Since then, there have been three successive additions, and now the main entrance is on the west. Today, this modern library attracts more than a million visitors a year a statistic that University Librarian Marilyn Shero says reflects the library's growing importance as a center for research and study. A university is a group of buildings surrounding a library and without a great library you do not have a great university and this is a great library and it needs to be focused and highlighted and be in the center of the campus. The front of the main library where I'm standing right now is the key pivot point to connecting the new places on campus with the historic framework of the quad. Just to the north, the tree-lined streets of the quad are sitting there with the cork oaks making a beautiful bow over the street. The library plaza is right here, and we can open up this entire view by removing the benches, the lights, the other things blocking it, and rolling down with a beautiful set of steps so that the library plaza sets you up to see the quad. Sigur and Vice Chancellor John Meyer are part of a UC Davis team that has developed a plan of action a centennial vision for change. This is the core campus, of course, with the, the quad, the Arboretum Spine, I-80 off to Sacramento, and nestled right adjacent to our downtown. So let's take a peek at this in 3D. And one of the things you can see in this 3D view is the way that we're designing this whole framework to tie back to the quad. Here's the historic quad, which is really a defining character of the campus, the open space, the big cork oak trees. And then it comes down through the library block, the Arboretum, and finally down to the new south entry, which aligns exactly back up to the quad itself. This is a really important block and a big move at the entrance to the library where this block gets completely redeveloped. And we swing around again, take a look at this corridor. This is the quad, the trees coming down, the library plaza entries right here. As you know, it's blocked. So by redesigning that whole plaza, we can connect this landscape of, of cork oak trees at the quad to that landscape north of the administration building with a beautiful three block long view, a promenade with the right kinds of materials. We will put trees on. We're showing it now with trees off so you can see how it would align. There you can see with some trees on. And what I like about that, it gives the library its rightful address as an academic center of campus. Right. It's the very heart of the Davis campus and sits right on the quad. Um, again, you can see the length of it, how it swings around. The quad framework is not just the west side, it's the east side. So we'll be able to pick up on the east side of the quad 
and come all the way down and tie the whole campus together that way. Under the new vision, the view from the front of the library will change significantly. So it takes three projects to redevelop this block. Let's take a look at it. All right, here we go. This is the Student Resource Center. The first project we get to work on that will crack open this entire block with a view of the library entrance facing the whole west side of campus. Now here's what it'll look like if you stand right at the front door of the library looking north towards the quad at the Cork Oaks, west towards the whole new west side of campus, which is a huge, huge change, and then south towards the administration building with another tree-lined avenue connecting to the front of the library. So people don't even know that that opportunity exists at the core of campus. It's going to change the entire way it feels. In addition to the quad framework plan, the various neighborhoods on campus are developing at a rapid pace. Most of the new campus development has been to the west of the library, so a physical connection will be made to the life sciences district. The Davis experience is that neighborhoods create their own personalities and their own flavors, like life sciences, for example. One of the great things about the UC Davis campus is uh, the building that we've done over the last 10 years. We've put up some wonderful structures. They've served our teaching and our research uh, efforts extremely well. But more than that, they're put in groupings. Uh, these groupings are arranged such that they, are, that they turn themselves into gathering places, places where people from different disciplines can come together and talk with each other and uh, feel like they're learning something more about the campus. As dean of the College of Biological Sciences, it has been really exciting for me over the last half decade to watch the evolution of this neighborhood into a real home for basic biology uh, here on campus. Starting with a set of research buildings, including Briggs Hall over here and Storer Hall over here, which housed our research faculty, the addition of this beautiful new teaching building, the Sciences Laboratory Building, where all of our students take their basic biology laboratory courses, has really completed this neighborhood and created a real sense of place for our faculty and students for basic biology here on campus. This has been particularly key for us when students and their parents visit Davis during recruitment weekend, when their parents see this gorgeous new teaching building and this district where research and teaching come together, it's been a real plus for us in getting them excited about having their children come to Davis. Even the gardens around the life sciences neighborhood reflect its personality. This plot represents a diverse group of plant species that students study in the nearby labs. We're trying different things in different places. I mean, we're trying to evolve the landscape to be a little more sustainable, uh, give a little bit more message to people, like this landscape that you see here is, is uh, sort of innovative plant materials, grasses and things that we don't see in some of the older landscapes. So each neighborhood is going to kind of take on its own character. The tree-covered landscape is a hallmark of the Davis campus. The campus principle of making civic spaces out of neighborhoods has been very effective in the Health Sciences District. Located southwest of the Life Sciences neighborhood, Health Sciences will be the central transit point for medical and veterinary medical students, staff, and faculty, and will deepen the bonds between researchers and their work. Medical School Dean Claire Pomeroy says the space in this district is perfect for scientists. One of the special things about UC Davis is the interdisciplinary collaborative spirit that we have here. And by being a part of the Health Sciences campus and buildings like the Genome Building here, we bring together people with basic science backgrounds from the School of Medicine, from across our general campus, together with our clinicians, and we have a true interdisciplinary research program and that means we can find more important answers to very important questions. John Pasco, a veterinarian by training whose specialty is equine surgery, has worked on the design elements of six new buildings for the School of Veterinary Medicine. So one of the objectives that we had both with the indoor spaces, having nice space and places to interact, was to have an outdoor space, take advantage of the climate in Davis and uh, and have it so that people could uh, bump into each other more frequently and, and establish some of the bond and connectivity we'd like to have between the students and the, and the faculty. The Veterinary Medicine District Quad is nearly complete. For students and faculty, it is a perfect place to meet. I think it's wonderful. Um, in fact, uh, we're able to interact with other classmates um, and from different years a lot. I mean, when we're walking up just through other classes, we also 
are close to the vet med teaching hospital and we're also close to the research facilities which makes it really easy for everyone to um, interact. The trees on this site. There are so Campus architect Clayton Halliday says the success of his design team is measured by the overall effectiveness of the facilities they build. They want the structures to function well in the Central Valley climate and have a strong architectural presence within their neighborhoods. We're working to enhance a sense of place at UC Davis by designing our buildings that are contextual in their neighborhood, including their character, massing, scale, and palette of exterior materials. Two recently completed buildings in the Health Sciences District showcased the palette, including a common color on the precast concrete panels, the windows, and the color of the exterior metal elements. Standard design for sidewalks include exposed aggregate in the middle, bordered by smooth concrete bands along the edge. We're working to develop continuity and context across campus by using standard designs for site improvement elements. Here are special pavers that we're using at entrances and courtyards to our buildings, and they'll provide a special richness, color, and texture to the overall environment. UC Davis is also addressing the system-wide policy requirements to build a more environmentally sustainable campus. We will be paying close attention all the time to everything that has to do with environmental sustainability, the environmental quality of the campus. We think that's very important. Gladys Valley Hall in the Health Sciences District is an example of how the campus is making strides in this area. The building reduces water usage by 30 percent and energy usage by 33 percent over current state code and creates such an exemplary indoor environment that meeting spaces in the building are among the highest in demand by campus users. Another area that's being developed along these lines is the south uh, campus entry. It is uh, an area that is anchored by the Mandavi Center, but when you first enter, enter the, this uh, area, you are also reminded that our roots are in agriculture. There will be a wonderful uh, vineyard uh, there. So it's uh, uh, got great promise, great potential. The south entrance to the campus alongside Interstate 80 fosters public access to all three facets of the university's mission, learning, discovery, and engagement. It is a welcome mat that draws people in, encouraging them to venture even deeper onto campus and to learn about UC Davis and all it has to offer. This barren field will soon be transformed into a vineyard that allows students to take grapes from the field here into the winery and produce wine that will be made in our new campus winery. It will all be integrated into the new Robert Mondavi Center for Food and Wine and it will all be part of our new sort of cultural and, and, uh, and food center for this side of campus. Walker promises that this complex will be a must-see for campus visitors. See how vineyards are developed, how wineries are run, and get a chance to see how wine interacts, uh, interacts with food in the science and in the teaching process. The marquee in this neighborhood is, of course, the Mandavi Center for the Performing Arts. Set alongside the campus's two-mile-long arboretum, the Mandavi Center has become the place where the region and the campus community come together. It is a major pathway to the heart of the campus. Every side of the south entry quad will be alive with music, art, and academics. The Arboretum has functioned at times as a border to the campus, but now is opening up as a series of pathways. And what we particularly like is the fact that we have this place of natural beauty and environmental beauty next door to the place in which the beauty of the arts happens as well. I don't think there's any place else in our nation where this exists. This South Entry neighborhood will also be home to the new Graduate School of Management, directly across from the Mandavi Performance Center. Dean Nicole Biggert sees important connections. We are so excited. It's the right place for, for a business uh, school. Being in the center of the campus is great, but that's largely where the undergraduates are. We're, we're an MBA program. We're going to be right here next to the law school easily accessible to the, uh, the medical school campus in Sacramento, and we have joint programs with both of them. We want to be here in, a, in the community with our peers. Humanities, arts, and cultural studies are really the heart and soul of a university, and so it's appropriate that a new and a much larger museum is being conceived for the South Entry neighborhood facing the new quad. One of the things that this new vision for the entrance of the campus lets us do is to connect the Mandavi and the new museum to the arts zone, uh, the music building, the theater building, the uh, arts building. 
and uh, the public will have a chance to, to connect to the academic enterprise through the Arboretum, through this gateway. And it's a connection, by the way, that will also take place to the city. The lush 100-acre Arboretum sits immediately to the north of the South Entry Quad. It serves as a living museum, an outdoor classroom, and a public garden with thousands of trees and plant species. As the director of the UC Davis Arboretum, I feel so fortunate that the Arboretum is truly a gateway to the campus. As you come in the front door of campus, you're connected immediately with over 100 acres of trails, gardens, exhibits, and beautiful landscapes that connect people with the university. The Arboretum has become a central park to the campus. It passes through virtually all of the academic neighborhoods. The UC Davis vision is for the entire campus and all its neighborhoods to be connected. Okay, so we're looking at the south entry, Mondavi Center and the tree line walk that takes you all the way back to the heart of campus, the original quad, and we have a chance to do what so many campuses have done successfully, and that's tie our new development with a strong framework back to the historic core. The Davis campus community works very well together. Those of us involved in the planning, design, construction, and maintenance of our facilities all acknowledge that all of our efforts are in support of the academic mission. In fact, we'll now all be organizing within one office so we can keep a focus on this campus vision. In recent years, much of our activity has been trying to respond to the significant enrollment growth and growth in our research program. And I think we've done very well with our new facilities. However, in upcoming years, our focus is going to change to renovation and redevelopment of areas. And what we're trying to do is really create places that enable memorable experiences. UC Davis is committed to enhancing the friendly, embracing character of its campus by creating good places. At the same time, we recognize that architectural continuity and consistency are key to providing a comfortable, secure, and livable environment. That means blending the natural environment with the built environment to create a balanced, sustainable community for decades to come.